Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your hosting or website and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you permanently delete one of your hosting or websites? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to permanently delete one of your hosting or websites anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that it's important to test out different strategies, but sometimes they just don't work out. So maybe it's better to go ahead and delete the website. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your hosting or website panel. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my hosting or panel. Just to be clear, this is going to be taken care of in the hosting or website panel. This is not taken care of in the website builder. So simply you just go to hostinger.com and log in and it should bring you right here. Now, in order to permanently delete a website you have with Hostinger, you're going to click on this left side. There's a button here called websites. Go ahead and click on there. Okay. Once you click there, you're going to see all of the websites that you have with Hostinger. You can see, I just have this one. Now, in order to permanently delete this website, what you're going to do is look over here on the right side and you're going to see these three little dots. Go ahead and click on there. Once you click there, you're going to see another drop down menu and you want to click on this button here called delete. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get this warning saying that if you permanently delete this website, all of the data is going to be deleted, including email accounts, order lists, images, database, custom code. So you need to go ahead and check this box confirming that you understand that. And then you want to click on this red delete button. Now I'm not going to delete this because I'm still using this website. So let me go ahead and cancel out of this. So once you delete that website, it's going to be gone. You can't recover it. They do let you know that in advance. Also, if you're simply looking to just avoid from billing again onto the website, you can do that by clicking on your billing button here on the left. Once you do that, click on subscription. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see all of the subscriptions and in order to cancel the billing for that website, once you found the website, click on this little purple arrow. Okay. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and cancel auto renewal. Now you're not going to get a refund for anything you've already paid out. So if you pay one year, two years, three years in advance, you're not getting a refund that, but what's going to happen is it's not going to automatically rebuild on your next term. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to permanently delete one of your hosting or websites, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.